He is a sultan worth more than $20 billion, the absolute ruler of Brunei, a small southeast country, but one of the richest nations per capita in the world. He's courted by America's most powerful leaders. This visit gives me a good opportunity to renew the long-standing and warm friendship. That friendship is being strained as Brunei installs a new Islamic Sharia law that punishes adultery, abortions, and same-sex relationships with flogging and stoning. Nobody is going to set foot in that damn hotel until he is out of it. He is the Sultan, and Hollywood protesters like Jay Leno want the Sultan's money out of the storied Beverly Hills Hotel. The hotel chain, called the George Chester Collection, is partially owned by a Brunei investment agency. Hurt the investment, hurt the Sultan. Richard Branson tweeted, no virgin employee will stay at Dorchester Hotels until the Sultan abides by basic human rights. It's people being stoned to death. Hello? It's all economic, you know. How big an economic impact will it have? Let's find out and see. It's just a matter of doing the right thing. The hotel says a boycott is the wrong thing, hurting not Brunei, but the locals. It's going to hurt our employees. And they have, this has nothing to do with them, you know, whatsoever. But the boycott and the celebrity power is bringing attention to the Sultan's new law, a law that surprises Gillian Lauren, who says she knows the Sultan like few others. She details in her book, Some Girls, My Life in a Harem, that at 18, she was the mistress of the Sultan's brother for a year and a half in Brunei. One night, Lauren says in her book, she was gifted to the Sultan, who she says broke his own Sharia laws. I am a witness to the fact that, you know, the Sultan was, was drinking, was committing adultery, uh, was, you know, not exactly living on the straight and narrow. For them to then pass this harsh law, right? how do you view this? It's maybe indicative of the way that a lot of people in power behave, which is it's it's one rule for them and another rule for the rest of the people who don't have so much money and don't have so much power. And that's why I felt compelled to tell my story.